Welcome to the 33rd Teddy Award. My name is Jan Felix Wuttig and I'm gonna have a discussion with Joanna Reposi Garibaldi about a beautiful movie Le Mebelle. El momento que que las yegua, digamos, eh, empiezan a trabajar en el, la parte performática, fue del año 87, 88, es la dictadura. Ese contexto era brutal. Era el terror, huelgas de hambre, asesinatos de homosexuales en las calles, ¿sabes, no? sujetos quemados vivos, amigos que, que no sabían si era morir o no morir, ¿no? mucha gente asesinada dentro de una casa, como ratas. ¿no? Eso es lo que estaba ocurriendo en el país. Todo eso hacía que que se produjera algo en ellos que tenía que decirlo sí o sí. Entonces lo que hacía la Chegua la Pobreza era eh, hablar y hacer una acción por los que no tienen voces, homosexuales, lesbianas, mapuches, madres gol eh, madre golpeadas. Hi and welcome to the festival. Hi, thank you. <laughs> um, is it right to assume that this is your first movie screening in the Panorama section at the Berlinale? Yeah, it's totally right. Okay. It's my yeah. first film here. How does it make you feel? Is it Gorgeous. a good feeling? Gorgeous. <laughs> yes, right. I'm very spectative. I have a lot of expectation. I'm very happy as well because in a way it was like a dream come true. Right. We wanted to be here. Uh, mm -hmm having the world premiere in Berlinale with this film. Yes. So it was really cool to be selected. So we are very happy All right. to yes. be here. Well, I was very happy to watch the movie Le uh -huh. And um, I found that it portrays, like it, it shows that the two of you had quite a close relationship, quite a good friendship in yeah. that sense. Um, maybe you could tell me a little bit more about how the two of you met. Yeah. Well, we actually met in 2001 and uh, I was working in a television program, cultural television program. Uh, so I interviewed him mm -hmm. and also I did a video art about one of his most emblematic texts. It's called uh, Manifiesto. It's a wonderful text. You have to, if you have time, try to read it All because right. it's, a, it's, some, it's kind of his um, uh, his his uh, uh, bandera, how you say, flag, his flag of, okay. of, of things, you know. So in that point we met and I started taking him some pictures, sli uh, slides. Mm -hmm. And in that, co and then we get connected because he bring his uh, dress, his dress up and I started okay, taking him yeah. pictures because I tell him I want to do something with your text. And then after that, uh, when I did, I, I did uh, this video, and he loved it. He liked it a lot because I did projection on the street because I like to do that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. So in that moment, 2002, I tried, I project these lights on the street in Santiago, in different points, and then he w watched that and he loved it. So in that precise moment, he we started a relation, yeah. respected each works mm -hmm. uh, between us. So. Then I start to go to his house. Uh, he did some tea. With, we start ch chatting, having a long no, lot of time. He was he was a very difficult guy. He okay. wasn't. Um, <laughs> I could he, I could see a sense of that. In yeah, the, in, he, in wa he wasn't that easy at all. <laughs> because at the beginning, at the beginning, I tried to do an interview, and he didn't want to do the, the, the interview for television. Yes. So he he didn't want to do anything. So. It was not easy to be with him, so I went where he has a radio program, ah. wait for him, mm. and then he asked, oh, what do you want? <laughs> well, I want to do an interview with you, and then we get connected, and then I did the slides, for, the slides with him mm -hmm. in, my, in, in a place, and then I did this video art, and he loved it, and then we start the relation, basically. Yeah. Nice, okay. Yeah. Did you did you have the feeling that he had the fear of being misunderstood? Was that kind of where, where his um, well, resentment came yes, from? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, his resentment comes basically, and also because he said that, he was poor. He always said, I, I am poor, 
y maricón. Yes. No, not gay, yeah. maricón. So maricón. both words in Chile is very strong. So from the early beginning, he feels a lot of uh, misunderstood yes. and discrimination in every place he were, he was. So, so he used this recent to move on. You know, yes. was something his strong feeling inside to say things, and mm -hmm. and of course he was because he he, he was a writer mm -hmm. and a performance in in the in parallel way. Yes. You know, and. In, as a writer, it's very elit elitista, the, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, you mean writing in general or his writing? No, no, the writing in general is a very elite, comes mm. from the elite, and he doesn't come from the elite. Yes. You know, yes. so he always was in the backyard. Yeah. They, they never... They never uh, let him into the exact, house. Any, any, any places. You know, so he has this resent resentment very strong, yes, yeah. and that's why he was in the first, in the always when he met people, he used this very okay. hard stuff, very yeah. punky stuff. Yeah. But in the other hand, he wasn't amazing. So yeah. it, it, when you cross that Then part of him, he shows something very nice yes. to friends. You know, and that, that also came across in, in the film. Yeah, exactly. And he has that. Yeah, he says at one point, I think, like being queer and being poor is is hard. Is the is is worse. I think he, he talks about in that instance about the political left, right? Yeah. Then don't talk to me about the proletariat because That's being queer text. and poor yeah. is worse. It's like, that is a manifesto. Yeah, ah, it's okay, his manifesto. Yeah. So he used it, and he he was from the left wing always, yeah. and the Partido Comunista never want him in the party, yes. you know, because they they are so very macho, yeah, yeah. communism. So uh, always in every places he was, was always not belonging. They, they didn't want to be there, you yes, know. Yes, exactly. Like that. Yes. Must have been like in the beginning, especially on the Pinochet. That must have been especially brutal. And then when the change should have come... Never comes for him. Yes, it never came for him. Yeah. Was there... There was a, a specific part where he says that comment about the proletariat and there is an installation with him on a hillside where he is sort of barred up on a cross, like like a, a figure of, of Jesus, maybe. Ah, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And he has that, uh, like a pit of fire on his chest. Yeah. Do you, do you can you tell me something about yes. that, what that meant? But, but, but there are two different uh, performances. One was his like this when he was on the street, uh, uh, the projection like San Sebastian, like a santo. Okay. That was yeah. one. And San Sebastian is a santo that comes for the gay. It's very important for gay people. So, yeah. You know, and the other one when he puts uh, fire here in the chest, mm -hmm. that one you're used to. Yes. It's, it's that, yes, and he put a lot of shoes around and he was laying on the floor. Oh, yes, yeah. That yeah. one, huh? Mm -hmm. This is a different one. Yeah. There are two different performances. The, the second one has to do with the fire, with the Molotov. He said something about, uh, just in that time, it was on the 1986, mm -hmm before the ending of Pinochet dictatorship, there was a man who, who, who uh, died. He, he put petroleum with him and put the fire. It was a father that burned himself, uh, claiming, claiming for rights, for human rights, because his two, uh, 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 two sons were disappeared and he didn't have any justice, and he didn't know where they were. So he did, Lemebel did this performance in a kind of uh, remembering him, uh, burning himself and claiming for rights, yeah. human rights, you know. Yes. Yeah. That was the, the... That was context, basically. In the context, yeah. Sort of restaging of... Of that moment, of yes. that, that pain. Yeah. On, what was happening yes. in my country in this, those times that was, uh, in Chile. Sebastian Acevedo. Sebastian right? Acevedo, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. was really... And he said, in the, in the film, he said, this is like, like a Molotov. Mm -hmm. okay. 
and he said, well, I'm doing uh, an artistic performance to, to remember and to claiming the justice as he did, but what, was, what happened with him was horrible. Yes. It was the real life, you yeah. know, it was yeah. very terrible. I think he says at that point, this is not a performance, this is, this is something real something that happened, real. that was, yeah. is happening in my country, so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I felt, did you also always write, even during when he made those yes. very famous performances? Yes. It, it, he was, sorry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it, it felt like he had at some point kind of left performances behind to, to focus more on his writing. Yes, yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, in the beginning, in the latest 80s, he was writing and performing. And, and he starts his performance with uh, another colleague, another artist, Francisco Casas, and they were Las Yeguas del Apocalipsis. Ah, yes. Apocalipsis <laughs> Mares was the, the artistic collective yes. art that where they were born, like, a, like an artist, you know, both. Mm -hmm. So they, they did at least 16 different performances. And then Pedro, Pedro was always writing. And after uh, Las Yeguas, because they broke up as a collective, he continued writing. And then he becomes or became fa uh, more popular as a writer. Okay. He, he does a lot of chronic uh, write books. He did a novel in the 2002 that was bestseller and was tra translated to uh, five uh, languages, mm -hmm. to German as well, uh, English and uh, French and Italian. And, but always her books, uh, he, used, he, he loved to do pictures and all the pictures of the books has something per as a performance okay. has to do with him. He likes photographic, so he never stopped doing performance as well. Yes. He was very, very, um, uh, he likes to be in the book, all the de details, the, 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 the tapa, the, the front mm -hmm. of the, he was very important for him, the front of the book, yes. and yeah. all what is inside, and he always, he was the one who appears yes. yeah. in the books, you know? So that pictures, that photograph, then became a performance as yes, well, you yeah. know. So, in a kind, writing and performance was always together, right. you know. Mm -hmm. yes. And and the when he was, he died in 2015, and and he became doing a lot more performance when he knew he has cancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess especially in a rush. He was in a rush, wanting to do a lot of things. So mm -hmm. he did three more performances. Yeah. You know, after uh, uh, in in the in the four years before he dies. Yes, there's a, that that great footage of his. I assume it is his last performance on the stairs. Yes. With the fire yes. on, on the stairs, and he rolls over them exactly. naked, basically exactly. in, in a sack. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Him. Yes. That and one and the other one when he was, he said, "I am burning, or oh, I'm burning my." My abecedario, mm -hmm. the A B, because he knows he's going to be, die. Yes. He, after that, he dies six months later, something okay. like that. Yes. Yes. And I felt that, well, the, the sentence that he would tell you to film him oh, and yeah. to not stop, stop. doing so yeah. that that has a certain importance in the movie, right? That yeah. he wants to be portrayed, right? Basically, up to the minute, or maybe up to the, the last weeks of his life. Yeah. What what significance does that sentence have to you? Is it's that amazing that, because that happens. You know, that was real. Yeah. That was what our connection. That I shoot that when after after two weeks after die that uh, shoot he dies. Mm -hmm. That was the last time I saw him. Mm -hmm. Was that when I tell I said to him bye goodbye. Yes. We said goodbye because after that he become very ill and lost conscience, you know. And that moment was he was going to uh, a theater to say goodbye. There was a... Hold on. ¿Cómo se llama esto que le hicieron? Eh, no, era como un tributo. Ah, they're going to... There was a... In January, they, they were going to do a tribute to him. Yeah? Okay. And he was on hospital. Lying, lying down with cancer in the, and he wanted to go. 
and the doctor said, you can't go. Yes. And he was a punky at the end. Till the end of the days, he, he did what he wanted to do. And Whatever <laughs> happened, he wanted to do, he wanted to go. So I went to the hospital. I was with my camera because I always, always, I am always with my camera with me. So I went to visit him. In that precise moment, he told me, well, he couldn't speak anymore because he, he used this, you know? And that was the, the moment when I just, I was with the rose, red roses, because he loves red roses. And I went to the hospital, I didn't know, but the, doctor, the, the nurse, nurses told me, no, you can't go in with red roses because it's dangerous, because people inside are very delicate. Yeah. And roses and plants has things that can be dangerous yeah. for them. Yes. But she told me, you can go and show them to him. So I went in, was in the, in the room, and was all his family, because I didn't know the family until then. And they told me, what are you doing here? No, I'm a friend of him. Well, and Pedro inside said, you know, I want to stay there, and I, and I come with my roses. This is, this is for you. And he told me, you come to shoot? No, Pedro, I come to see you. <laughs> but if you want, I can shoot at you, to you. And he told me, I'm going to the gun. Okay. Without no... Per yes, are you going? Yes, okay. okay. So I went out. Uh, he, he sang something, was his responsibility to go out from the hospital. And that was the shoot that you saw in the yes, film. Yeah. Going with his brother in this wheel mm -hmm. uh, chair. And I was shooting him because the family was telling me, don't shoot, it's a very particular. I said, shoot, shoot, shoot me. You know? <laughs> and I said to the family, my, 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 sorry, my, my my relation is with him, yes. my uh, compromise is with him, mm. so I'm so. sorry. <laughs> and I should, you know. So, in a way, it's something very important, that, that scene in the film, I think. Yes. It's something yes. you told me to shoot, not stop to doing. So. Yes. And also for, for not only that scene, right, but for the whole of the movie, that he, he at the beginning he says, I don't want any biography, right? Yes. I, don't, yeah. I don't want this, like Classical. the whole material to turn into something like, okay, he was born then and there and he died then and there. Um, mm -mm. Could you tell me a little bit about how you constructed the movie to, to serve that idea? Yeah, but because I don't like that way of making films as well. Mm -hmm. So I think we connected in that way. Uh, and I like to put that in the beginning because it's something like, like a manifesto as well. Uh, um, I didn't want to do something classical. I didn't like to make this autobiographical and I, uh, when he was born in a date or whatever. And what I don't, I like what, I like, I think films or what I make with films, something more spontaneous one that comes from from the materials, from the images, and I like the way Im images speaks better than saying things. So uh, I, I think the structure of the films has to do all with that. Uh, just in the beginning, our relation, and the, the, the things that he wants, both wanted to do this film. Mm -hmm. I think that is the, come on, the narrative basically yes, that from yeah. the beginning to the end, no? But all the material inside has to do with archives, images, and um, I think that, that are the layers that I wanted to put on. I think uh, says much more than saying things, you know? Yes, definitely. Uh, I, I found that the different materials that you use, they're very, like, as I said, that, that grainy Super 8 material and um, the, um, the original footage, also the way that you portrayed pictures of his actions or his, his performances yeah. on, on, uh, on buildings. Um, I found, or I thought, was it a kind of way to show his traces? Like to, to show where he had been, where he had lived and yeah. to, to basically say to the world, remember him yeah. then and there? Yeah, of course, the, the, this kind of projections or, or, try, or this way of making things in a way uh, 
I was trying to connect as well with his uh, work. He used this material, he used projections, and, all, I, and I used them in my films as well. So we connect in that kind. When, when we started thinking this film in 2007, it was amazing because we were thinking, yeah, we have to do these projections and this art projection, okay, and let's go here and here. So we, time goes uh, past very... We, we started at 2 and we ended at 12 at night, you know? So we have a really good time thinking and I'm uh, uh, watching the pictures. That is under the film. So I started the, the, <laughs> the film 2007 and then I finished 2015 or yeah. whatever. Um, and also because all these materials has to do with different uh, videos that I use in, different, in my different times, you know? Yes. I use mini DV. Then Super 8 Mills, I love it, I use it as well. And also because of respecting his silence, mm -hmm. I, I, wouldn't, I like to do, use the Super 8 films. And uh, yes, and projecting this on the street has to do because he's very urban. Mm -hmm. He comes from Santiago, he, likes the, he lives on those places. Was, we, we, sh, we project some slides from his balcony. Mm -hmm. So I like the, the urban Santiago because has to do with him, has all to do with him. Yes. Of how, of how he lives, how he writes, yeah. from where he belongs. We went to his house in, when he was younger, in the Departamental, yeah. was in this place for very poor blocks. And we went there to shoot in the 11, September 11. That day was the coup in okay. Chile. So has all to do of these history things, you know, yes, uh, yeah. and connecting as, in a way with his work and uh, with his biography uh, surrounding. Yes, yes. Um, I found also that, yeah, I, I, could, I could see the fun that you guys had basically in, in the apartment and choosing music and choosing the different <laughs> sort of little photographs to, to use as material. Yeah. And um, I I especially found one scene very interesting, actually of one of his um, performances on, on the bridge, that you also use a couple of times um, in the film. Um, sort of, it, it is there in the beginning, then it's, mm -hmm. I guess, I think a car passes underneath it, and then it is there in the end, and this is where he burned his yeah, alphabet. Yeah, exactly. Could you tell me a little bit more about how that, what, what, significance that had for him to, to burn his language in a way. Yeah, I like you ask for that question, you know, <laughs> because you, you found it because it's in the beginning and it's a black and white super eight. Yes. And so it was a layer that I wanted to put it in the beginning because that is the place where his, uh, his grave is. Okay. In the left side of that bridge is the cemetery. Right. He lies there, yes. you know, with his mother, the lover of his life, you know. <laughs> so I put it, I like to put it in black and white, was an option to do it so, and then appears at the end. Because as, as you said, and he said, I am burning my, my alphabetic because I'm not going to write anymore because yes. I'm going to die. Okay. You know, so that, the thing is that because, well, in the film, he, he's dead, you know, you know that from the very beginning yes. as well. And that place is very important because he lives two blocks from there. That was the place where we, he lives. He lived. Yes. yes. He lived when he was younger. And the, in that place, her mother li, uh, is lay, laying in the grave as well. And he's laying that, in that yeah. place. So it has to do all with the film, yes. that, 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 that precise bridge. And also because... It, it's that, pre, that bridge, it's called La Pasarela. Mm -hmm. It's a way to cross from... He lives in that, in that urban place near the highway. Yes. You yeah. know, it has to do with bio, his biography. Okay, yeah. And in a way, he sort I don't of... Know if I, I, I don't know if I answer your question, but... Yes, yeah, yeah that, that is certainly... Yeah, <laughs> you did, actually. <laughs> um, in a way, he sort of created also his... his sort of last resting place with, with burning the alphabet, I yes. feel. With uh, burning all that he had achieved, or all that he had worked on, and that, that special kind of strong connection to his mother. 
Yeah. That always remained with him, obviously. Yes. yes. It's in that place. That's why he wanted to do that performance in that place. Yeah. Do you yes. know if, if uh, it just kind of makes me think if, if fire had some sort of significance yes. to it? Yes. The, the, the neoprene, he used neoprene. I don't know how to say it in English, but the neoprene, you know what neoprene yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, was the poor people in Chile or kids when yeah, they are, they smell this not to have um, to, to, to eat. Mm. If you smell this, you don't need to eat because this you, uh, erase the 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 sensation to of hungry, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. So he yeah. used that material, trying to reivindicate or dignify dignificate in a way poorness. Yes. And the fire has to do with this Molotov, he, of these burning things, you know. Mm -hmm. He used fire and neoprene always in his performance, uh, trying to, and also in his letters, in his writings, he dignified poorness. Mm -hmm. as, a, as, as, as he said, I am poor, I belong here, and I'm not uh, ashamed of that. Mm -hmm. So dignify, dignify Yes. Poorness, in a yes. way, yeah. you know, and also because in Chile, some, in a way, after Pinochet, comes this kind of liberal thing. We are in Latin America, uh, the jaguar, <laughs> the yeah. tiger. I don't know what in Latin America, <laughs> the best, all of these places, and in a way, say we are not. Yes. Economical, probably we are in a good position, but what happens in social cares and all that kind of things? We are yes. still very. We have a lot to do, yeah. so that, in a way it's put in this, always, in the yes. front. That necessity, that significance doesn't go away just by a change of regime, basically. Of the change of regime, of being an economical very well fine, with, between all, or in the middle of this region, Peru or the other, Bolivia, whatever, we still has a lot to do, Yes. in many sense. Mm -hmm. So he always was pushing on the borders, yeah. not only after Pino, uh, during Pinochet in the latest 80 in the latest dictatorship because always also in the democratic up to the last day of his life yeah. as well and don't know if you remember this this picture at the end when he the last picture is a photograph like a Frida in the hospital oh yes in the wheelchair yeah exactly yeah. he always aware about performing performance and life with him was very close yes Thought so, yeah. Um, so, so he said in the, in the hospital, take me a picture. Mm -hmm. And, and he was the last picture. Okay, yeah. I thought about that, yeah, I thought so, that it, it might have been the last picture of, of, of he. Uh, him also performing. And, and, yeah, exactly. I, I have one other question about um, one of his, I think that's, that's also the picture the Berlinale chose as, as sort of the, um, the film still. Yeah with him having this ring of syringes, yes. and I think it's on Christopher Street Day Parade. Yes, in New and York. In New York. And um, he has a sign that says, Chile Return AIDS. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit more about <laughs> What's about? This? Yeah. It's a like colonization. This, mm -hmm. We were very, he said in, in the film, we were, estábamos sanitas nosotros aquí en Chile. We were very healthy in Chile. Um, this colonization comes and bring, bring AIDS to us. So he, in a way, he's returned AIDS to you. I'm, I'm going to, I'm a Latin, Latin America, gay, mm -hmm. and I'm saying to you, to the States, this colonialism, mm -hmm. kind of, I would like to return your AIDS. Yes. You know, fuck you up, yeah. something like that, you know, yeah. in a way. Yeah. It's, uh, he was speaking about colonization, uh, this colonization sensation. We were very healthy here in Latin America and you came and bring us your fucking AIDS, you know. Yeah, yeah. In a way. <laughs> that's, of, that's, yeah. And, and it's, this ring is a, you saw, is a lot of engineers. Yeah, yes. Yeah, with blood inside. Exactly. Not blood, but red thing. Yeah. And then he took off this because you saw in the pictures, mm -hmm. the the engineers has this, uh, and the, the, he took exactly. them off, and he was like this, and the, then and the then the policy comes say, what are you doing? And he was hurting, you know. Yes, yeah. It was something very, 
that is very particular of his way of making and saying things. Yes, definitely. Very, very fulminating, one thing, one picture, but very strong. Mm -hmm. Could you maybe... Very political. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so as well. Like it, it was very, it's a very interesting thing to see that somebody would, would go that far that even, even on Christopher Street Day to say, here, you did this. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not going with the flow. Kind yeah. of. I'm. I'm always pushing on I'm the border yeah, here. Exactly. You're I'm inviting me boundaries. here for celebrating 20 years of uh, Stonewall, mm -hmm. and I'm here saying you, saying you, you this. You know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe for a closing question, mm -hmm. um, could you recommend us or the or the audience? Um, I mean, he's done a lot of writing. Could you recommend us a book of yes, his? Yes, of course. To to read more up on his life and I think he I love his Tengo Miedo Torero mm -hmm. uh, he, is, he, is his uh, only novel bestseller and it's amazing um, I think it's a, 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 a love a really nice love story you know and also I can recommend you the first one Perlas y Cicatrices uh, it's a chronicle the first writings he got Perlas cicatrices y crónicas de un solidario. Crónicas de un solidario. All right. Cool. I hope the audience will pick that up. And um, let me just say it was a very, very pleasant and very nice talk having you here. And um, thank you also for your movie. It has been very inspirational. Thank okay. you very much for the invitation and being here and speaking, talking about Pedro. Right. He will be very happy to, to okay. know all of this. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.